Welcome to a study guide for the distant learner. I am Nora Omomelo. I'll be taking you through module 2, unit 4, writing. Writing. We can describe writing as the process of using symbols to communicate thoughts and ideas in a readable form. It is one study skill you cannot do without as a student. So the need to acquire the ability to write effectively should be of utmost importance to you. Writing as an essential study skill. Writing is one of the skills that improve and develop with constant practice. You develop the act of effective writing with constant practice and progress with your education. You need different skills for different types of writing. For example, in writing a poem, you say so much in a few lines through the use of imageries and figures of speech. The most important factor in the acquisition of writing skills is clarity. You need to present your writing in very clear terms so that your reader will not be in doubt about the idea you want to communicate. You can look at writing as a process of discovery. You discover a lot of things through writing because every act of writing is a new experience. Have you noticed that you actually writing something new each time you write? In fact, even when you are revising what you have previously written, you tend to add new ideas and expunge old or irrelevant ones. Writing can also be seen as a means of communication. Through writing, you are able to pass on information and communicate your ideas to others. So it becomes important that when you are choosing a topic to write on, you should also decide how to present it so that it can communicate effectively to your audience. Types of writing. There are actually a good number of them and each type is designed to convey its message in a certain way and also perform a certain function. For this unit, we will be looking at essays. There are over a dozen types of essays, but I will only briefly explain the four basic types, which are the descriptive, narrative, argumentative, and expository. The descriptive essay. It provides in detail a description on how something looks feels, sounds, etc. It also gives a sensory detail of what is actually being described. The narrative essay. This tells a story and most, mostly conversational in style. Please note that it is generally written in the first person pronoun, I. The argumentative essay. In this essay, you try to persuade your reader to accept your point of view. While the expository essay there are mostly opinion-based writings which require extensive research on the idea or ideas being propagated. Whatever writing style you choose, do bear in mind that each type of writing has its own guidelines, so endeavor to learn and employ the guideline for each style when you write. Let's look at some of the basic steps in writing. Title. Depending on the type of writing or situation, the title may be given to you prior to writing or you may generate one for yourself. Thesis. This is the central idea on which the story is anchored or revolves. Link. Paragraphs. Here you employ the use of transitional devices in the form of words or phrases to link your sentences as well as your paragraphs. The next step is to organize and connect title, introduction, main body, and conclusion. It is of utmost importance to organize your writing in a way that the introduction, development, and conclusion of the work will be very clear and discernible. Then, ensure unity and coherence. In your writings, try not to digress or contradict yourself. Let the movement be logical and smooth. Your ideas and points should be linked and be able to express a, uni a unifying point. This is all for today. Thank you.